Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to utilize Docker to run Node-RED within a container. So let's get started. So here I am in my prompt here. And as you can see, I've got the Node-RED documentation open, which gives us a nice quick start. But we're going to vary this just a little bit. We're going to change it up some. So what we want to do first is run the Docker run, which you can see here. And what Docker run is going to do is run our Node-RED container on our system. And if we do not have the Docker image already on the system, this will automatically pull that for us. Now, of course, if you want to dive deeper into Docker, a little shameless self-promotion here, I do have a course for it. So please check that out. But getting back to the course at hand, first we'll start with Docker run. And then instead of the dash IT, we're actually just going to run a dash D, which means detached. So we're not going to run the logs here within our console. They're going to be run in the background. And of course, you can use the Docker logs command if you need to see those logs because something goes wrong. So then what we're going to do is run a dash P, and this is how we specify our ports. So what we want is we want port 1880 linked to port 1880, which means that the container port here, 1880, is going to be exposed on 1880 on the system. Now, if for some reason you're running two node reds or something else on port 1880, you could change this, 1800, 1881, whatever you want. But in our case right now, at least for mine, 1880 works perfectly fine. Now, after that, we're going to use a dash V for volume. And we're going to utilize a named volume, which means it's going to be stored within our Docker installation and not in a external folder somewhere. So we'll go ahead and I'm just going to call that node red course. And you can name this whatever you want. It does not matter. And then what we want to do is use a colon slash and data. Now this part is very important. This is saying we are tying this named volume to the data directory within the node red container. And that's where all of the magic happens. That's where our flow files are stored, configuration, and everything else. So now that we've done that, we can then assign the node red container a name. So we'll just call that MTC node red or whatever you'd like to call it. And then what we're going to do is just specify the container. So this container is hosted by node red which is basically a repository for images. And then the image is node-red. And then we can add a colon latest, or you can freeze it to a specific version here if you need to. So I don't need this right this second. I'm going to maximize here so you can see this full command. And once you've done that, go ahead and hit enter. All right, as you can see, I actually already had the image pulled, so you didn't see the image pulling dance here, all you saw is that the container was run. So that's perfectly fine. So now if I run a Docker PS, I can see my container is up on port 1880. Now you can also see that the volume was created by doing a Docker volume LS, and you'll see a lot of volumes on my system. But as you remember, node red course is the volume that we specified for this one. And as you can see, these are other node red volumes that I have specified. And if I would like, I can actually attach another container to one of these volumes to access a previous installation. And if you'd like to see more of that, you actually can right here in the node red docs. If you scroll down, you'll see using named volumes, and it gives you a little bit of a walkthrough on how to access the data that you need. But for now, we're not going to dive into that. Again, if you want to learn more about Docker, I do have a course for it. But let's go ahead and access Node-RED. So I'm going to access the IP address of this PLC Next PLC that I have running that is running my Docker installation and Node-RED. Of course, if you're using a VM, you'll just access that on its IP address. And if you're running locally, of course, you can just use localhost. So 192.168.254.101 for me, colon 1880, just like so. And here we are. Now, depending on your version, you may get a welcome screen here. Go ahead and jump through that a little bit if you'd like to see some of the new features. But we're going to be covering most all of this throughout the course. 
All right, and one last thing you can see here. Warning, please check that you have started this container with a volume. This will pop up if it doesn't see that you set an explicit non-named volume. But since we used a named volume, we're actually okay. And of course, if you want to verify that, you can. Nobody likes to lose all of their data. So if you'd like to validate that everything is stored on a volume, you can. You can just drag something in. Go ahead and click Deploy. It really doesn't matter. We're just verifying that everything works. And then head back to your terminal. And you can do a Docker rm-f mtc node red, which is what we named it, or at least what I named it. That will remove the container. And then just run your run command again. As you can see, we're utilizing the same volume here. Head back over to your browser. Refresh, it should lose connection, come back up, and everything is still there. Obviously just one very simple node. So everything is installed, everything is good to go. Go ahead and mark this lesson complete. Come on back to the next one and let's continue the course.